Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create this cool TV transition effect inside of After Effects. Before we go ahead and get started with this video, I actually want to give a huge shout out to CinePacks because they actually helped me out with this tutorial by supplying this whole effect pack. Uh, for free actually if you do want to go ahead and download this pack for yourself it'll be linked down below in the description the link below is a referral link so i do make a little bit of the money from it so if you do want to help me out i would very much appreciate it i will also pop up a code on the screen right here where you could use at your checkout for five dollars off your purchase or any of the purchases at cine packs so yeah make sure you use that code while you're buying this pack or any other packs at cine packs so inside this paid pack you get tons of different effects here this is the one i actually used in this video i really like how like the back background is just like all red right here and it's like in a warehouse kind of i really like all the different overlays they have here like the vhs effects here uh there's tons of different ones i really like this last one here it has like this cool uh curved edge to it too which is super cool because obviously that's kind of like what these retro tvs have really realistic kind of glitch overlay here also they have two sound effects here that you can choose from but yeah there's tons of stuff in this pack i just don't really have time to go over everything in this pack but if you guys do want to go ahead and download this you guys can check it out for yourself Now for this effect, I actually have two different ways you can do this. One requires a plugin, so I'll show you guys how to do that at the very end. But the first method I'll show you guys is just without plugins. So the only thing you actually will need for this effect is these overlays from cine packs. So yeah, once you guys have the uh, video imported into After Effects, you just want to drag it into your timeline here. As you can see, it's already keyed out. You already have this black space in the TV screen where you can apply any videos underneath this layer and they'll just show up right there, which is super easy and simple. So what we want to do is just bring over our background clips or I guess wherever we want to transition from. So I have this video of Trippy Red here and then also this other video of Trippy Red just to transition from. And with the TV layer just turned off, you can see this is just like a normal video, nothing too special. Same with this other one that I want to transition to. But what we want to do is transform it into this little TV screen here. So by doing this, you want to just hit S on your keyboard. So it brings up the scale value here and we can just mess with this and make it smaller, bigger, whatever you want to do and then just drag on your clip here kind of move it around and fit on your screen and another way to kind of sell this effect even more is adding a effect called optics compensation and just bring this onto your clip and as you can see it doesn't do anything so you want to mess with the uh, field of view here i'm just going to do maybe a hundred so as you can see it is now curved around the edges here so if i bring the scale back up on this trippy red effect i can kind of cover those black edges and now you can see that it's actually curved because these like retro tvs are sort of like more curved and not <laughs> flat screen I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of mess with the uh, positioning on this second clip now try to fit it down to the same size and positioning you could if you want just copy the like settings from this clip if you want but I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of redo and play around with it and you can just copy the optics compensation from the bottom clip put onto this top one or your second clip here and scale it back up now we have our two clips all right so the second clip right here I'm just gonna move it uh so it lines up with the edge of this like tv screen here and then also cut this video down so now when I play that back you have this first clip and it transitions into the second one right here but there's no uh actual like good transition it's just a hard cut so that's what we want to do is work on the transition now but we have the basics everything just like laid out here so what we want to do is bring on motion tile and bring this onto this clip here and make the height like 500 and you want to make sure you mirror the edges here and you want to go into the position values just go a few frames maybe just in the middle of the clip uh it doesn't really matter just hit a keyframe, stopwatch, and then go to the very end of this or one frame ahead so you can kind of see what you're doing and mess with the Y value here. And also, if you didn't know how I got to the position values here, just hit P on your keyboard uh, and it'll bring up your positioning. And we're just dragging this all the way till I guess just like the very end of this clip here. And you can bring this keyframe back over to the end. Now we want to go ahead and easy ease these keyframes because if we play it back, uh, it's just going to look very just weird, honestly uh super slow uh, i don't know it doesn't really look too good in my opinion so i'm going to go ahead and easy ease these by highlighting them and either hitting f9 on your keyboard or you can right click it and then go to keyframe assistance and easy ease and now you want to just go up to your graph editor and if you don't have this graph and it's in the value graph just make sure you have the 
auto selected graph type or the speed uh, graph selected. So now we have this graph here. You just want to bring this yellow point all the way to the end where it can't drag any further. And then this one just sharp like this. And now you can see that it slowly kind of goes up like that. It might be stretched out too long. I don't really like how that looks. So I'm going to bring those keyframes closer together there. Something like that. But now obviously we just have to do that same thing, but for the second clip, but like I guess reversed. But before we do that, make sure you do have motion blur turned on because with it off, it looks a little funny. It doesn't really look too real. So yeah, just make sure you have motion blur on. Makes makes everything look better. What we're gonna do is just put motion tile onto our second clip here. Kind of repeat the same process. Make the output height 500, mirror edges, hit P on your keyboard, brings up your positioning values and just go ahead a few frames and hit the stopwatch and then go to the very start and then make this instead of going up we want to actually start downward if that makes sense so smoothly transitioning from going up and then just ending at our starting frame or our end where we want it to be at once again we want to easy ease these keyframes so i'm just going to hit f9 this time uh, and then go back into the graph editor and do the same thing with the graph, but just like reverse it. So have this end keyframe be pointing towards it. And this one just drag it into the graph. And now when we play this back, we should get that smooth transition here. And if you do want to bring these out, you can all up to you, uh, whatever looks good. And yeah, we are almost done with the effect. What we're going to do is create a new adjustment layer. So it is above these two clips here. And we don't really need all this extra uh, video or adjustment layer stuff there. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. If you hit Control Shift D, uh, that's how you delete or whatever clip stuff. That is just a little shortcut that I like to use. What you want to do is bring on the TV Bad TV 1 and then Bad TV 2. Now we have this like TV effect on our clip here. Now it's already looking pretty cool. You could just leave it like this and just have the TV effect going like throughout the whole video. I want to have it so it kind of like slowly eases in. So by doing this, you want to just go to like the start of your first keyframe here. And to uh, change your opacity on your adjustment layer, you just want to hit T on your keyboard and bring this all the way down to zero. Hit the stopwatch right there. Go to the middle of your clips where they cut. Bring this all the way back up to 100 and then go to the very end and bring it back down to zero. So now you have this TV to it but once again we always got to easy ease of these because we never like to have these just linear so f9 on your keyboard go back into the graph editor and now the graph looks a bit different because we are now in the value graph instead of the speed graph which honestly i like the value graph more so it is a lot easier to use in my opinion but what we're gonna do is just bring these frames like this so we kind of have like a mountain kind of shape and just mess with it play the video back see what looks good this one kind of ends too long we don't want the glitch effect to be playing for too long on that second clip looks pretty clean we can even drag we can go out of this thing and drag this keyframe out longer at the start so you can kind of see more of that tv glitch and go back into the graph editor just really mess with it kind of see what you like get the effect that you like in your video the last thing we got to do is actually have the tv screen like zoom out and then zoom back into the second clip so to do this we just want to go up to layer new null object and once again we're gonna cut this down by hitting Control shift d what we want to do is position this uh like anchor point in the middle of this null object box i guess this is just the easiest way I found to kind of zoom into stuff that isn't centered on the screen. What you want to do is hit A on your keyboard on this null object and make this box like inside the middle of this little like crosshair. So just get this kind of lined up in the middle of that box. <laughs> it, it, I don't know. It's kind of confusing, but what you want to do is just bring this like null object inside of the middle of this TV screen here kind of get it centered up here. So whatever looks pretty good. I think that's pretty centered in this TV. Now we just want to select all the videos down here. So just drag and select all of them. With this little like parent tool, you just want to drag it onto our null object there. And now with everything parented, you just want to make sure you have the scale open on your null object. 
Once again, hit S on your keyboard and I'll bring up the scale and just zoom in till the TV is just gone here. Now it's just the video here. Now you can see that it is zoomed in to this clip and you can only see the footage inside of it. We want to obviously animate it so it goes back out and then back in. Wherever you start to see the like thing animate back to this like transition, like at the start of this, I just want to hit a keyframe here and bring this all the way back to 100%. Actually, let's do 110 just because I'll kind of show you guys why I like to do stuff not at fully 100 and 110 because I can make the keyframes a lot smoother. But I will once again, I'll show you how to do that in the speed graph. Let's just go to the very end of this null object and bring this back in, just scale it back in so that the screen is gone. And now, once we play this back, you can see that it zooms out and it zooms back in. And obviously this does not look clean. So to fix this, we want to highlight these keyframes here and hit F9 on our keyboard, or once again, just keyframe assistant, easy ease, and go into our graph editor here. And honestly, this part is kind of hard and confusing for uh, beginners. Uh, honestly, the graph editor is pretty hard to learn, but once you get the hang of it, you'll kind of understand how it works, but try to kind of follow the graph here and what I'm doing. So it starts out pretty slow, ramps up, and then we want to kind of replicate what we did here on the other side. So we want to kind of easy ease this out, maybe even have it zoom out just a bit. That's why I left it 110 so we can have some like wiggle space here to have it zoom out just a bit before we zoom right back in. Honestly, it's super hard to explain uh, the graph editor. Honestly, I think I created a pretty nice animation here with the zoom out and everything. And I'm just going to go back out of this graph editor and just mess with these keyframes. I'm just trying to get everything to look kind of perfect. Honestly, at this point, you just want to mess around with it and experiment with what looks good. But I have a pretty solid effect here and I think it turned out pretty cool. All right, so I'm now going to show you guys how to create this transition with this plugin called Red Giant Universe. This is a lot easier to do without doing all this keyframing and stuff. So if you do have this plugin, uh, I honestly think the effect looks a lot cleaner also. So yeah, it's all around just a win win. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this. So what you want to do is go up to your effects and presets and just go to your uh, Red Giant Universe transitions here and look for the one that is the retrograde transition and just bring this mix to zero and start the starting keyframe just around the middle of this first clip here. So keyframe that and then bring this to like 100 and it will be messing with these keyframes. I just want to kind of have like a basic keyframe framed out or whatever um so yeah obviously this looks really bad right now that's because we haven't linked our second clip to our transition here so go up to the retrograde transition and make this uh to our second clip i just renamed it to two so you can kind of see what i'm talking about here but now when we play this back it actually plays the second clip instead of having that white just solid and we can just turn off this layer and bring this clip out so it ends at the end of our video. Now we can just mess with our keyframes here and when we play it back, boom, there we go. So obviously a lot easier, a lot less steps. Uh, all you need is just one little effect and saves you a lot of time. So I highly recommend using this Red Giant plugin. Thank you guys for watching this video. And if you do want to see more in the future, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to this channel. And once again, thank you Cinepax for helping me out with this video and supplying me with these TV effect presets. And once again, the link is in the description. So you can go ahead and just go straight to their website and use my referral link, which does help me out. But yeah, thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Peace out.